Hi, this is Matt Navar with Claris Training, and today we have a design pattern for something that comes up a lot in classes I teach and really in a lot of databases that I've done over the years, and that is a, a card window as a picker to show to link a record to another record. So in this case, we have a customer that has an invoice, uh, and the invoice needs a sales rep. So this is one that already has one, but basically how this works is when you click this button, a card window pops up, you choose a record, and it links that record to this invoice. So let's see if we have, uh, here's an invoice that does not have one yet. And let's walk through and see how this works. So first of all, on the layout, it's calling a script um, called person selector show card. And it's also sending a little bit of JSON, which we'll copy and paste and change in a minute. So uh, and the script person selector show card opens up a card window uh, and does a search to show only the sales reps from the person database. Uh, one other important thing that it does is it grabs the context. This is the, the key thing that we'll um, be talking about, which is how to make this work in more than one place. So looking at this one, um, the second thing that happens is when the card window pops up, which is this layout here, when the user clicks on a button, it runs another script called person selector select ID. This does not have a script parameter. Um, so the person selector select ID script is this one. And it has to know about that context, which I have a little note for here. And then it has to know where it's setting that data. For example, right now I'm setting it an invoice, but I want to be able to put this in other places like quote, note, customer, wherever I want to be able to connect uh, a person or in this case, a sales rep. All right. So um, let's look at this in script debugger here before we change to the other context a quote where we're going to put it. So when I click on select rep, it runs the first script and does a search uh, for all my reps. And then the only uh, global variable that's left is when this is done is card mode is invoice, because that's how we know uh, what we're going to be doing. Okay, then when I choose something like Phil Smith, and I go to the other script, the select ID, um, it right now uh, uh, marks this one as a sales rep, because if, uh, uh, if the person who I selected wasn't already marked as a sales rep, if I did a search, um, then it would set that to fix it here. So then the other thing it does, it closes the window and then it sets the sales rep as a person ID in this invoice record. Let's take a look at that. Uh, and then it shows the link right here. Uh, so uh, in my table, I have a field called ID sales rep. Okay, we're gonna adapt this to the quote table. And so that means the quote table has to also have a field called ID rep in this case, slightly different name, but same pur purpose. To make this work, what I need to do is copy my button to the clipboard, change my context to the quote context. Uh, let's make a new quote for this person real quick. Okay, so then on layout, I wanna paste that button here and in order to make this work, I have to make a change to the script to send the button a little bit more information. It's calling the same script, person selector show card, but in the JSON, its mode is not invoice. Its mode is quote. And the ID, the primary key, is not the invoice ID, but it's now the quote ID. So two simple um, click, you know, uh, selections. The last one is going to be the message, select a commission rep. And then I click OK. Um, so that's part one. Part two is I have to educate the script so that it knows the context of where I'm coming from. I'll show you what I mean. Let's run this in debugger and have it break. So I'll select a sales rep and have it do the first part, which is to find me all of my sales reps. I'll choose one. And let's take a look carefully here. Um, so what it's going to do is it's going to close the window and it's going to assume the context is invoice, but it's not, it's quote. So when it runs this code, I'll get an error because it's the wrong context. So that's the script that I have to fix and I have to have it read 
um, underscore or card underscore mode to know it. So let's go back into that script. And let's say um, we're going to basically put a uh, an if clause in here. So we're going to say if dollar dollar card mode equals invoice. Then it can actually set the data into the invoice table. Otherwise, card mode equals quote, and it's going to set a different field, right? Set field, the foreign key field, which is the wrap ID. And it's going to set the field dollar ID person, which is the, the ID of the record I just clicked. ID person. I can also put in some future compatibility here. I can add an else if, uh, you know, card mode equals future thing for the next one. Uh, and then even better, an, uh, an error message. So if, they, if something goes wrong here, I can say something went wrong. And if something went wrong, no rep was associated. Okay. So save that and uh, close it. Let's open up debugger again. And we have to go back to, uh, let's start, start over at the quote screen or the customer screen, then go to the quote. We're looking at the quote. This has a, uh, a, a um, web viewer on it with rich text. I'll choose select sales rep and it runs this script to pop up the card window. At this point, if I take a look at data viewer, I will see dollar dollar code mode now equals quote. That's because I changed that JSON. Click on a record. Now, this is the important part to watch. Okay, so uh, $ID person grabs the ID of the person that I just clicked, and that's gonna be a UUID, old, old style format. Then it's going to uh, check, the, check the card mode window. It is not invoice, now it's quote. So it's gonna set the field in the quote table, which reminds me there's gonna be a third thing we're gonna have to fix. So it sets the field, and then this didn't update. And that's because I'm using a, one of my favorite features, which is a, uh, a single segment button bar as a calculation object. So if I click on this and go to its edit, this has some code in it that says, if there is no rep associated, then say select sales rep, otherwise show their sales rep. So this starts from the invoice context from where I copied it. So now we're gonna say, if there is no quote sales rep, then show the message. Otherwise, show the name, show the word rep, and a relationship from the quote to the person sales rep, the full name of that rep, which, uh, by the way, shows one other important thing, which is on my graph, I have to have a relationship from the invoice to the person table based on that rep ID, and also from the quote to the person table based on that rep ID. And I have both of those here before we started. Okay, let's test it all the way. In faith mode without debugger or data viewer, we'll go to another quote for this customer. We'll click select rep and we'll choose a rep and it works and it shows us the data. All right, that is this very uh, useful little set of commands. Thanks for your time.